So, Brett, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much, and thank you for inviting us oh, on the show pleasure. today. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. So, you manage detection at New Zealand Borders. Yes, so I work for Biosecurity New Zealand, uh, part of MPI, and we um, look after any kind of pest or disease trying to stop it entering New Zealand. Yeah. And, um, and I look after all the different detection devices, uh, wow. what we do at the border. And we've got one of our new detection devices here, which wow. is um, baby Neve, who's only just over three months old. And she's going to protect us at the border very shortly, <laughs> trying, to, trying to keep out pests and diseases out of New Zealand. Oh my God, she's so cute, hello. So this is Neve. so she's part of our breeding program. Um, she's only just over three months old and, uh, and we've been breeding dogs for over 20 years now, um, beagles and just recently harriers. You see she she's wants, to start, tea. She wants yeah. to start doing her work already. Now this is one of the reasons why we've bred beagles for so long is because innately they just want to sniff. Right. And, and we want their job to be fun. And yeah. so when they're working at the border, you can see that all they want to do is sniff, and yeah. that's their job, you know, tails going, finding products, and keeping New Zealand safe. So she's sniffing out all sorts of things like, you know, stuff that would have fruit fly in it and... Absolutely. So um, people um, sometimes forget or intentionally bring stuff in. Um, so that could be fruit with fruit fly on. Um, you know, it could be um, other materials like vegetables, you know, meat, fish, all those kind of things. So we're trying to keep out any kind of pests and diseases um, that could be harmful for New Zealand. You know, we're a primary producing country, so we're trying to, you know, keep everything, you know, clean and green. Yeah. Um, we've also got, you know, all our lovely countryside, so we don't want any new, you know, diseases in the country. Yeah. Um, and that's what um, detection tools like uh, Cute Neve here. Well, Wow. Um, so they're not all about cute and cuddly. No. They actually do a really good job. Very serious. Yeah. Very serious. And you can see it's all she wants to do. Yeah. And so she's just three and a half months old. Yep. When did they start working? So, um, so right now, um, she's been looked after by a puppy walker. For the first 18 months of their life, they're out um, in the public, you know, they've got a family that looks after them, and then they come back in. So they've been socialised already, because um, they need to be around people, you know, um, and happy with that environment. Yeah. And uh, she comes in, and uh, she'll start training for about a month to, you know, a month and a half. Yeah. And then she'll be on a course with a handler for about another 10 weeks, um, and then hopefully pass, and she'll be out there at the airport. So they start out with families for 18 months and then the families give them back? Have to give them oh, up, yeah. No. And I mean, I mean, have a look, you know. I know, I couldn't do it, couldn't do it. Luckily we have families that have been really great and are on their third, fourth dog, so they, they understand. Yeah. And, um, and the great thing for them is they see the dog working at the border, and whether it's on border patrol, you know, watching it, or whether they actually literally fly in the country and they see their dog there, and they know they're doing their small little part for New Zealand. So. Um, it is hard to give up the dog, but they see what's at the end of it for yeah. them. So uh, it's, it's like fostering a child, really. Exactly. Yeah. It's just a fluffy eared one. A really cute one. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So this one's called Neve. Is yep. that a happy coincidence, or it's is it very a much a happy coincidence? So um, our, all our breeding, uh, we have different um, litters, and we have letters for the litter. And uh, before the litter actually arrives, we just get to you know write down lots of N names or B names. We're up to the N litter, and Neve was on our list, and uh, and so Neve it was. And of course. If you're in New Zealand, that means something. Yes, so, um, so our current Prime Minister, Jacinda, um, her daughter, his name is Neve, um, and it, it's a happy coincidence. <laughs> so, very famous Neve. I've got to say um, thank you to Edmund for, uh, for coming in today. Um, it, he's a keen assistant um, with us, and, uh, and Neve's done some really good <laughs> work. <laughs> Neve because, is your name. I <laughs> know, oh, but because Edmund's here. If I, had, um, if I had Neve, it would all be pear shucks. It would so, be uh, chaos. So the teapot would be on the floor, exactly. all sorts of things going on. <laughs> Thanks, Edmund. That's awesome. So if someone wanted to be like a foster family for a beagle, how would they go about that? So the easiest way is um, we've got a website, um, both an MPI and biosecurity website, but we've got a dedicated Facebook page for the um, Detected Dog Program. And there's all the information on all the different puppies on there and how you can get hold of us and, um, and hopefully you know, help us out and help New Zealand out. Awesome, and you have a cute little puppy like this one. Exactly. Great, thanks for joining us on the show. Thank you very much. Thanks, Edmund.